short story called Summer Adventures in Malta in the sunny island of Malta to best friends Luke and Sofia eagerly awaited the summer holidays with school out. Their days were filled with endless possibilities under the Mediterranean sun. Their favorite spot was the rocky beach near the ho their homes. They spent mornings collecting colorful seashells and building sand castles adorned with tiny mal Maltese flags. On scorching afternoon, Luca and Sofia set off on a grand adventure armed with sunscreen and corpse. They embarked on a treasure hunt along the winding streets of Valletta, Malta's historic capital. They explored an ancient fort, listening wide-eyed to tales of knights and battles, the cobbled streets led them to hidden courtyards, courtyards adorned with vibrant flowers where they played tag until the sun dipped low. Their evenings were a symphony of testes and or aromas. They savored pastizzi and local bakeries and gel gel gelato at the bustling markets. The taste of red Ishanan Mal Maltese Tira, a local bread filled with fresh tomatoes and olives, became their favorite summer treat. On weekends, Luca and Sofia ventured to the countryside. They marveled at the Hajar Inn and Mnar. Nardia temples standing tall against time and picnicked near the stunning blue grotto, watching the waves paint patterns on the limb stone cliffs. But the highlight of their summer was the festa in their village. They joined the lively celebrations, dancing to traditional Maltese music and marveling at the colorful fireworks that lit up the night sky. A summer due to a close, Luca and Sofia reemerged about their adventures. They knew that while the days of exploration and laughter were coming to an end, the memories they had created would forever shine brightly in their hearts. And as they waved goodbye to the sun, kissed the days, they promised each other new adventures for the next summer in beautiful Malta.